unified three heads, and one of two of them were monks, old monks. It would be monkey see, monkey do. Monk eats. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm COVID negative. Yay! Uh, we'll be back together very shortly. Um, just to let you everybody know. Uh, but that's what we were waiting on. They were both testing negative day, waiting on another negative test tomorrow, and then we will be back together. And I have to sit in his presence, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know, that is true. It's what we have to do for the business, you know. Uh, exactly. And if you're wondering what I'm taking, it is. Uh, I'm taking vitamin Steroids. D and zinc, vitamin Steroids. vitamin D and zinc per nurse Cindy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we're doing a series review. I don't know. That was terrible. Um, but it's so we we watched the series Modern Love. Uh, which obviously just came out on Amazon. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. There's six episodes. They're about 40 minutes each episode. Directed yep. by six different people with a whole... You can't even really call this a series. It's more of a... It's more of a... What do they call it? The one you have three? The... Like uh, the, the anthologies when you have four. Yeah, yeah it's, like a, it's like a... Long anthology. <laughs> yeah, it's like a long anthology. It's six short films. Yeah, essentially it's six short films. Some yeah. by directors we knew, some by directors we didn't know. We knew some actors, didn't know a lot of actors. Yeah. Um, and Steph and I actually did a full watch along of every single episode while Rick was down with COVID. I'm actually not going to release those. Those are just going to be Patreon exclusives. Uh, just, just, I, only reason is because I know this is not like a crazy popular series. And so I'm just going to save that for them. Uh, and so if you'd like to go see that, I'll put the link in the description below if you'd like to see our full reaction to every episode of the of the series. But what, how we're going to do this is we're kind of just going to talk through, because we haven't talked about it yet, uh, each episode uh, and, and kind of our thoughts on each of them. Because it's basically six different short films. So there's... Yep. You know, different thoughts on each one of them. Yep. Um, so, yeah, once again, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and uh, come back. It's not really going to be non-spoiler just because it's it's hard to really do that with something like this. Um, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and come back. So we'll start with yeah. the first one, first episode. Um, but uh, actually, I'll start overall. Overall, I thought it was a good series with a couple great episodes. I don't know what you thought. That's uh, exactly the way I and Indrani would because she watched it with me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say exactly what you just said. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a overall good, but I think there's a few great episodes. I uh, of the six, there were two that I considered great. And was there that, was was that one in three? Uh, yeah, it's actually one in three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I, I well, we'll get we'll get into okay, we'll into get, the we'll rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let, let's talk about the first. The, this was one of the great episodes, and it was yeah. a it was a fantastic starting off point. Great for starting the, point, man for the for the <laughs> series with uh. And uh, let me get to the IMDb here of the first episode, and it is called Rat Rani, uh, starring uh, Fatima, who we've seen in a lot of stuff, in, including just recently in Thar. Uh, we saw in Dongo. She's a fantastic actress. Um, she was probably the best performance of the whole series to me. Agreed. Yeah, she knocked it out of the frickin' park. I loved her. and when I she, did, too. Once again, spoilers. When she showed up at the end, I was so, so happy just to see her again. Me, too. <laughs> Me, too. I, I love this character so much. And we'll talk about that when we get to episode six. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'll yeah. tell you, it, she was like a leadoff hitter in a baseball game, just jacking it out of the park and setting the standard. Like, we immediately had very very high expectations for every other episode because she and that first episode was so good yeah absolutely and it was directed by uh shonali bose uh who i believe did margarita with a straw and the sky uh, i don't know if she directed the sky's pink did she direct it uh she did she directed the sky's pink as well okay uh and uh and margarita with a straw so she's got She's got a proven track record of female lead, uh, uh, directing, and I thought yeah. she did. I thought she did a really good job because what I really, really enjoyed, and we talked about this in the watch along about this series, especially as it as it was going along in the first parts of the series, is that you thought this was going to be just about a, six different love stories, right? Six right. different modern love stories, right? 
and a lot of the times with the exception of like maybe one episode or two episodes towards the end the the love stories were actually secondary correct and it was actually a, a more broad uh it was like either like this one it was falling in love with yourself and getting to know yourself and your own self-worth uh and that was the modern love story of this episode and i thought that yeah. was a brilliant starting off point i really really enjoyed that and obviously the way fatima played it but yeah the uh the whole you you knew it was coming from the beginning with the husband just you know being an ass and 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 all this kind of stuff and then he left in the morning and you're like oh yeah clear he this guy's clearly an asshole and then he just pissed you off even more with like Oh, I might come back. I'm like, no, bitch, it doesn't work like that. Exactly. Go, man, he pissed me off. Go die, like right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but obviously, and then it kind of wove itself into this beautiful finding yourself. There wasn't any other person, like, you know, in a lot of uh, films, like they'll have a person that treats them like this, and then they'll find a person who treats them well. It, right. it was nothing like that. It was just, I'm, this is me. This is me time. I've never get I've never gotten to find myself or find find what I feel I'm worth or stuff I'm interested in. It's always been about me being a wife, and it was it was wonderful. I I, I have nothing but praises for this episode. Agreed. I wrote in my notes. It's such an original idea to portray someone being happy after a breakup and on their own. Mm -hmm. And it was it was a love story about being okay with yourself and loving yourself. And I. I really appreciated the symbolism of the bike and her going up the hill and what that meant to her. I love that when she went back to meet him, she was eating different flavored ice cream. Yeah. Um, just everything about this is it, such a, a, a wonderful story about empowerment, about not needing to have anybody to fulfill you and to be your quote unquote uh, other half that you're full in and of yourself and you need to be that to bring something to a relationship anyway uh so uh, and i i wrote at the end here too which i didn't realize it would be for every episode felt more like a short film than an episode of a tv show yeah yeah, yeah. and it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to compare this to other series because it's not really a series other series you carry along with characters and all this kind of stuff um, and this is more of just six different short films that we got to watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so pretty much. It, it's going to be hard to compare it to the other series because the other series had the, uh, like, if we got to get six episodes of Fatima, oh, that would have been amazing, obviously, right. to carry, carry along with her that way. But yeah, I, I, I really, really enjoyed that episode. Uh, everything about it, uh, from the message to the execution to the s lovely Italian score behind everything, making it feel so happy. Yep. It, like, even though there was like stuff, bad stuff going on to this poor girl, there was this beautiful, peppy music behind everything that I just, I, I really, really enjoyed. Yeah, um, everything about it was great. It is for me my favorite of the six. Of of the six, okay. Yeah. Um, and so let's go on to episode two. Episode two, I thought, was, <laughs> I thought was good. I just had some technical and 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 um, overall. Um, uh, just, I liked the episode because obviously I liked the message and I liked uh, what they did, but it's just there was some writing stuff I didn't I, I enjoy and uh, and other stuff like that that we'll talk about. What do you think about the episode overall? Though? Yeah, it it for me because the first episode was so good. No, oh, yeah, it's probably a big letdown. Yeah, it was a it was a letdown. Yeah, and I thought okay, um, I I appreciated the originality of it. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciated the fact that it was telling us, OK, so this is going to be set alone. You know, these individual stories that are going to be like standalone short films. I thought there was great writing in the car at the very opening of the episode. Yeah, um, I, I, I something I don't appreciate. And it's a subtitle thing is uh, and I only picked this up because of Indrani. But we were speaking in Hindi and they referenced Julia Roberts yeah. and Liam Neeson. <laughs> But that is not who they said. No, did they say like Katrina Kaif and like yes, Sunny Dole? Yeah, Sunny Dole. Yeah, Sunny Dole. Yeah. You don't. You don't need they, to say American stars to make it relevant to Americans. Just. I'm guessing they're saying that because, like, obviously, if they said that, if an American is randomly watching this Indian series, they'll understand 
Oh, it's this uh, actress that I should I guess, know about. I guess. Obviously, normal people won't know Katrina Kaif or Sunny Dole here in I America, guess. unfortunately. But yeah, um, I, I, I caught that as well. And the other thing was, I um, I thought the acting was fine. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't fully believe a full investment on their relationship as gay men, which was evidenced in the intimacy moments when they kissed each other. It didn't look like they were really kissing each other. Um, yeah. That was that I, was a, that was one of my big gripes. Is that I I was like it looked fake. Yeah. Um, I actually reached out to Hansel because uh, Hansel's been following us on Twitter for. For a long, long time, because he likes juicy content, right? Um, but uh, I, I reached out to him, and I was like, um, were, did they fake kiss? Because I was so confused. It's Hansel Mehta, who directed, you know, Raj Kumar Rao and, and Manoj Bajpayee and, and Algira and, and all this other stuff. And I was like, right. it just it doesn't, he's like, it wasn't fake. It's just the way I shot it. I wanted it to seem awkward. He said, that's obviously you saw that it looked fake, and that's what you saw, and that's what it is. Um, yeah. You said, um, I said, well, at least I know you didn't say fake kiss because uh, I, yeah, because I was like, there's no way Hansa would say, please fake kiss in this. There's just no way. But yeah, it, it did because I was like, I wanted them to kiss and I want to be like this passionate kiss, mm-hmm. like on camera, and it just it didn't. Uh, it, it that was that it was did. definitely like, like as a comparison. The most recent thing we had seen in terms of a television series was when we had seen Made in Heaven, yeah. and I believed every single moment of his intimate relationships with guys. Um, I believed a hundred percent that he was in gay relationships with uh, other men and that both of the actors were fully committed to the moments. I didn't sense that with, with this. And it also, just as a story, it wasn't as engaging for me as the first story. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. And, and I think the, not, not, um, not uh, Pratik, the, the guy, but the chef, who I believe is not actually an actor. He's actually a chef, like a famous chef. Oh, in India, um, and so maybe that was some of the the, the kind of disconnect uh, because be. obviously you didn't. Uh, the other guy is in Scam 1993 that Hansel also directed, uh, right? And so he's actually, and we've seen him in a few things, and so he, I know he's a he's actually a really really good actor. But yeah, I, I felt the same stuff, especially coming off of the high that I had of the first episode. That um, to one that even if it's not, I don't think this is the worst episode by any stretch. No, uh, but coming off something like the first one, any flaw you see is going to be heightened just because you're like, oh, I, I enjoyed the first one more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> did. And I, it also there was some predictability at the end. Like, I do you know uh, that by his grandma is Kajol's mom. Yeah, people told told me that. On yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. And Which Ronnie is cool. knew, obviously. Yeah, that was very Which, cool. That was cool. I, I, I enjoyed that. Uh, and I thought she did well. And I thought a lot of the performances were good. Um, I don't think there was anything glaringly bad. I enjoyed the message overall of obviously families, please obviously coming to accept. It wasn't like in a, like this story that was like revolutionary, obviously. No. Um, but you know, it's a message that obviously needs to be told because obviously a lot of people deal with, um, parents not accepting who their kids really are and wanting right. to change them thinking this is a phase and all that kind of right. shit. Um, and so I, I really appreciate that. Uh, aspect of it and I thought obviously just in terms of the way it was shot Hansel's a great director yeah, yeah and I, I thought the as as much as um I found it to be predictable I'm glad it wasn't preachy or heavy-handed that, yeah. I'll give that that's the credit I'll give to it in the writing is that it wasn't preachy yeah absolutely yeah uh so let's go on to the third episode now this is actually my favorite episode I think overall I think even though probably the first one was the most enjoyable episode mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. This one, I think overall technical wise, acting wise, story wise, everything about it, I think was my favorite episode. What do you think about this one? Yeah, I liked it a lot. And I, I, I again, this was the other um, great one though, right? That you said. It was the other great one. Yeah. Cause yeah. I think at the outset of this, I said that I liked the third one the most, but I, it, I, in, in looking back upon the two of them, if I if push comes to shove, I'm picking the first, the first one, one by a, by a neck, by yeah, a, yeah, yeah, by a neck. It's definitely yeah. more of the the first one's more of the rom com feely, and so yeah, 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 yeah. But this one gets points that, that differentiate it by reason of it being such a different story, very yeah. unexpected. Yeah, and um, 
it's unfair there because it's it's fucking Vishal Bardwash, right? It's like right. <laughs> it's, it's it's like if you had like uh, uh, even though obviously not all these directors are like no names. You got Hansel Meta, you got the the Margarita Stronger, you got all these other right. really really good directors. But like it's like if you have a Steven fucking Spielberg <laughs> director, right, <laughs> right, and like everything about this episode, I loved. Like I thought, like some of the opening shots of the grandma, and like she was in red, right, and because yeah. I think she was in her, I don't know what the name of like where she was worshiping or, or, or right, paying. I don't know what Pen- what it was. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know what it was. I'm sorry, but like just from the opening shot, it's like this red. And with like a purple background, black in the background. It was the cinematography was gorgeous. I loved every single acting. My second second favorite performance uh, was the grandma in this episode uh, of, from the whole series. But I yeah. thought the the two younger people did well. You gotta love all the cameos. Nasserd and Shah, he can't he can't do bad. One, no, he, he can't. Was, he was so adorable in this too. My wife just kept saying, "She's like, he's so cute." Yeah. <laughs> and then you got the other cameos. <laughs> no. Um, you got uh, the Anurag uh, Pasha. Anurag. I'm just coming in there. <laughs> which Basically, I, I, being himself. Yeah, which I did not expect. But yeah, overall, I thought the story of this blending different cultures, blending yeah. different religions, and um, and all that kind of stuff. And once again, it was almost the love part of it, like the 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 couple love was secondary in this one. Correct. Yeah, and that that was that was something that I think was like you said at the outset of the review here that Keep was up. the thing for all of them was that the love story was actually secondary compared to the human interest elements of each character's development as a human being. Yeah. And the issues that they personally were dealing with for themselves versus their re- – the relationships were secondary. The relationships actually were part of what was going on in the larger picture of their life, which is a brilliant approach that I wonder if that was just what everyone was told from the outset, like when they were having an idea of what these things were going to be. I can't imagine the the concepts – and it, it may have been self-evident because this comes from stories from the New York Times – yeah. So it just may have been self-evident in that regard. And I, I don't know if you thought this, but after this third episode, I thought, is there a food theme that's going to happen in all of these? Yeah, yeah. We picked up on that after that, but then it kind of dropped off a little bit. It dropped bit. off. Uh, yeah. But I was like, is there a food element to all this, which I love? And then it's, yeah. obviously with the Indian culture, Asian culture in general, you got a big, the 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 love is there in the food um and so yeah i was i was really enjoying that aspect i wish it kind of carried on into the into the the four five and six episode uh even though there was a little bit there at the end with 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 chai but it wasn't anything close to the first three episodes with the 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 food element but yeah uh i i really really enjoyed that that food looked amazing by the way uh what she did uh i loved the the main uh actress's performance in this one uh like i said she was my favorite (laughs) after fatima yeah. Uh, and her name is, where is it? God, there. I think it's Yan. Yan, Yan, you. I apologize. You have to tell me because I'm not looking at the, um, I apologize if I got that wrong, but I think she was the grandma, but she, they aged her quite a bit because I've looked her up on, uh, on Instagram now. Uh, she is quite young. <laughs> Really? She, she does not look like a grandma on her Instagram. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do you know how old, do you know how old she is? Is it show? Uh, let's see. And while you're looking that up, one of the things I liked about this episode compared to the other episodes is it does, is it doesn't I, I, I thought that the, like you mentioned a minute ago, the the production design art direction cinematography lighting yeah it, it was um it reminded me of seven kun moth that yeah. particular that just there's a dark edge to it that we've talked about that vishal can get that doesn't have dirtiness to it it's dark without being dirty whereas one of the things we love about anurag is that he's dirty yeah. everything's really dirty but there's there's an interesting way that that vishal can capture darkness and it be be crisp yeah Right. Abs- absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I loved his his overall score. It was very reminiscent, yeah. but different as well uh, from the first episode of this kind of little like Italian. It wasn't as peppy peppy, but there was still this underlying thing of like it's everything's going to be OK. in the end. Yeah. An optimistic thread throughout. Yeah. Which I, and obviously he does. He does all the composing for every single one of his films. And 
it was no different in this. And he, I thought he did an absolute brilliant job. And I thought the two young guys, the the young guy and and the the girl that he was in love with, I thought did really really well. I loved their whole story and the what the their tensions with the mom, um, and 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 all that kind of stuff. But like like I said. I thought their relationship would have been the focus going into this series, but right. it was more about the mom and his. It was the development of the mom, yeah, uh, and 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 kind of weaving um, the tensions that have always been there between either Chinese people, Indian people, uh, or just in general, just people of different cultures, uh, yeah. and and all those kind of like um, prejudices people have, and how some people just need to grow and learn uh from obviously the trauma that they had in the past from evil people in their life right. that they now hold people in the current world accountable for uh and all that and so i thought it was really brilliantly weaved this story which is why i, I there was the this is why i think this one's probably my f- the best episode because mm. just everything was so good the, the, there was no there was all tens across the board for me for for this episode for every single element of this uh uh, episode. Yeah, you liked it a little bit more than I did, but that doesn't yeah. mean necessarily anything. You know, per, no, that's well. They, I think it's the the two that we both called great. So yeah, agreed, <laughs> agreed. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So um, now on to the fourth episode, which actually it would be my least favorite episode. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, this one. Uh, so uh, you go ahead. Tell me what you thought about. No, it you. T- I, I'm interested because I actually like this episode. Oh, d- yeah. Um, well, I, I'm I looking like- at this. I like the overall story and the message of it, obviously the, um, and I thought it was a different way to do Mm. the age gap, uh, story, right. Of somebody falling in love with an older woman or an older man, you thought they would get together, but there was a little bit of twist at the end of like, we're just going to have our fantasies. Right. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I thought it was uh, outside of them not getting together. I thought it was vaguely predictable. Uh, mm. and also there was no standout performances for me. I didn't, I agreed. I, I thought both of them did fine. Uh, right. I, 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 there probably could have been maybe some better people or maybe no, better, felt, maybe better writing. Maybe I felt the same way performance wise with like episode two in terms okay. of the acting. I felt like yeah. the performances are fine. There's, there's, there's nothing here that I'm being riveted by, but I'm, at least I'm staying engaged because I'm not seeing any mistakes. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I, I had a particular – my interest was piqued because yeah. anytime there's a, a story about age gap, I'm particularly yeah. interested in the way it's going to be portrayed. Yeah. The thing for me that like bumped it up for me more than, say, episode two uh-huh. was I really loved – and I, it was something I loved about the story. It's my favorite thing about the story. I loved the symbolism of the car and the scene she had in the car and yeah. how – the moment she's having in the car, which is both the car that she was driving that killed her husband. It's also the car they had made memories in. And she had a bag of his clothing in there that smelled like him. And she needed to get into the car and needed to have the moment to say, I'm sorry. And she wasn't just saying, I'm sorry for the accident. She was saying, I'm sorry that I'm feeling feelings for another man because she hasn't allowed herself to feel feelings since the husband had died. Hold on. Your audio is like um, crazy right now. All right. Uh, it's okay. The, uh, the fact that she's in the car saying I'm sorry was more than just saying I'm sorry for the car accident. It was her saying, I'm sorry I have feelings for another man because I haven't had any feelings for another man since you've yeah. been gone. And how she wasn't able to let go of the past until she could get rid of the car. That yeah. that for me was my favorite part of the story is what made it get to me a little bit more than two. But uh, again, I don't I, I'm with you. It's for me. It was OK. Yeah, I was I was hoping for a little bit more just because I did. I did. My favorite part of it was definitely the message, like, like what you're talking about. And I, I love that element. It's just. Yeah. Maybe I just wish. Yeah, I don't know if it was the acting or if it was the writing or something that it was just there was a disconnect in, in, in one of those aspects for me that yeah. never allowed me to be full invested or care like I wanted to. Yeah. And I would have also kind of liked to have seen like, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did she not? sit at the table and fantasize about him and was she not masturbating uh i i didn't know what she was doing i think it could have been implied that she was for sure i think it i think it was implied and i would have preferred just an outright show us that's what she's doing like 
uh, what Shape was of the water. show? Yeah, exactly. Well, straight up like Shape of Water. We also just recently saw a show where the girl is doing that in the library. We did? Uh, I th- yeah, long t- I think it's a scene in the early episodes of Delhi Crime. Okay. I, I don't remember. She's in yeah. the library by herself, but yeah, yeah I would have. I, I would have preferred gone really a little farther. I would have loved to have seen a woman of, of her age allowing herself to to be sexually open and gratifying for herself in that moment, and I felt like it kind of it, it it held back for the audience rather than being more open for the story. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so now on to episode five. I love. Th- Thani, Thani, I believe it's what it's called. And this is actually the one that went almost what I expected from the series uh, when it started. This was like started up kind of like following a love story, even though there was obviously more to this episode than just that. Uh, And I actually I enjoyed this episode. It wasn't uh, it wasn't great, like one or three to me, but uh, I thought it was a good series. And I thought both the actors did it very, very well and kind of played this young millennial kind of dating pool both driven by your careers um and all that kind of showing different kind of um the the, what what the dating app world is and all that kind of stuff and so i i enjoyed this episode what did you think about this episode yeah this one because i was still at this point i think this one wasn't if this had been episode one i would have enjoyed it more okay because episode one was so good yeah and by this point, there had already been two that kind of fell flat for me. Yeah. It put me in a position where I just kind of was like, okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think I, if I had seen it as, if I had seen it first, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'd say this one, I, I think when I put out my rankings, uh, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was a, a good episode. Maybe, maybe they should have. It's it's always curious how you know people come up with what episodes is going to put first, right? In terms of yeah, 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 an, an anthology like this, you want to get people gripped, right? Right. So you want to put a really good episode first, of course. But then, if your other episodes aren't to that same great level, then. <laughs> but also, maybe yeah. they were just like, the, we have six episodes. They're going to be diff- six different flavors for uh, everybody. So some people might relate to this because I actually saw some people on Patreon saying this was their favorite episode because they really related to, yeah, th- this life that they were living. Uh, and th- I think that's actually that's actually one of the things that you can say about the series that is a bonus to it. Yeah, which many people would say, wait a minute, how can that be a bonus? And that's this fact. I don't think anyone's going to watch the show and love all six episodes, and I don't think that was the point. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the point is to find an episode or two that you relate to and you'll love those episodes and therefore you'll recommend the series. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, it's hard to obviously, since you have six different directors, writers and, and, and actor, different actors and you d- can't build with each episode, you're yeah. going to you're going to kind of fall into that. Um, but I thought it's like going to it's like going to a restaurant where they give you six different uh, things to eat, uh-huh. bef- you know, as your full your full course meal. You may not love all six of them, but you're going to enjoy your meal. Yeah, I thought the uh, the girl in this actually did quite well. I enjoyed her performance. I thought, um, um, and it was directed by Daruv Segal, but spelled with an H. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Segal. Segal, okay. Uh huh. Um, and um, I I I enjoyed the because I think you kind of you were seeing where it was going to go, and she was going to find a person. Uh, and all that um, t- towards the uh, as it went on, who wasn't like the rest of them, and and was um, and they kind of brought out the best in each other. Had great long scenes walking down the boulevard or whatever the sidewalk or something like that. Which I I think a lot of times it was a long shot, and I think they kind of did the mm-hmm. whole scene um, like that. And so I, I enjoyed that 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 uh, part of it. Um, it wasn't as good as as one or three uh, mm-hmm. by any by any stretch, but uh, overall, I, I I enjoyed the ride of this episode, and I thought the ending was really cute. It was like a a, a cute little kind of rom com ending uh, to 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 the episode. Um, so yeah, yeah, and I'll give after we give do the sixth episode, 
we can give our rankings in terms of which ones yeah. we, we, we place at the top versus at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so now on yeah, to yeah. episode six, the final episode of the series, Cutting Chai, uh, with, uh, directed by Nap- Nipu- N-U-P-U-R, and the last name, uh, Asathana? I apologize. Uh, <laughs> but this was actually the most, <laughs> and it was starring... Um, uh, the 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 actor that we know of is named Arshwad Warsi Warsi I think right, um, and then uh, her I I didn't know of her but her name is shit I can't I can't I apologize I can't pronounce that name it's really really long uh, I buy and I don't want to butcher it but um, this was actually such a different episode because it actually did. Th- stuff in the episode that none of the other ones did in terms of visual yeah. stuff that it did that to represent what's going on in her mind, people talking mm-hmm. that aren't actually really talking. It's kind of like a dream. And so it's very stylized, almost kind of similar to that Satchit Rai on the tr- the hero, I think, the that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did so many different things with visual representation that I actually really, really enjoyed this episode. It, it, it wasn't one or three, but... Uh, this is probably three for me uh, in terms of episode. And I thought the way they did this of this girl who, you know, at the beginning, you're like, oh, there you can see where this is going. This is not going to be a good relationship. Right. Obviously, they've fallen right. out of love or they're just bored or whatever. And in her whole kind of journey and seeing how her life could have been different. But she keeps going back to why she fell in love with this man. Yeah. Um, and. And we'll get into the other stuff, but what do you think about the episode? I'm, I agree with you. This yeah. is my third favorite episode. Yeah. It And I uh, I said out loud to Indrani while it was happening, and it started to make those changes that were quirky and different, uh-huh. like the people talking to her in the, the, the subway station. Yeah. And I went, ah, cool. Creativity. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I... I, I, I like the performances. I found her to be, she's absolutely captivating on oh, camera. She, and what she's a, what a gorgeous. She's she beautiful gorgeous. actress to yeah. be filming. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, and I believe the characters. Yeah. I, I, um, I was very interested in what was going on and I love tying everybody back in. Yeah, yeah, that's the other from the other stories. <laughs> the ending was that, that absolutely was great. great. Um, I loved, yeah. I loved how they woke, but and I loved obviously Fatima saying, "I'm coming, Shah Rukh Khan." <laughs> I'm coming, Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. I was like, that should it be. Was a, a, it was that, a really nice button up. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed um, how they did their relationship in terms of showing that even though he has these flaws of like you know. Not um, of like being late all the time, and and he thinks right. he's helping by saying, you know, you should, you 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 probably would have done it by now. You're like, you know, you have. Why can't you just ride over there, right? Um, and all this kind of stuff. But he's not like full on, actively helping to support her goals, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But then they showed that element of like when he's there, he's there. He's like he he makes up for it in his charm and the fact mm-hmm. that he's he's a hundred percent invested when he's there. Um, obviously, right. he might be thirty minutes an hour late uh, to do it, but he at least makes the effort while he's there to make up for his shortcomings. And then I'm very glad right. they actually went back before they um, did the whole thing to actually show him actively trying to be better and change. Because I was worried that you know they made up and I was like, okay, but are you gonna? Are you gonna change? Right. Are you gonna are you gonna you know try to actively help her and support her and what she's trying to do and you know be of the partnership that this is supposed to be? And I'm I'm very yeah. glad that they brought that back because that that would have upset me. <laughs> yeah, and I liked I liked the fact that this, like I think they tried with all of the episodes, was and this one in particular I like because it shows you the realities of what really needs to happen for a relationship to last for many, many years where you're, you, you're, you're just brutally honest with what's going on. And where at one point the things that used to think, Oh, that's a funny little quirk suddenly becomes something that deeply annoys you. Yeah. You need to be honest about that and share that and then be yeah. able to make changes and adapt and grow and evolve together mm-hmm. in your relationship with one another. And I agree with you. I think it was critical 
to the story for him to show some semblance of self-evaluation mm-hmm. unto change for her. And then I also love the fact that she, on the one hand, was absolutely right by feeling offended. He was saying, if you really wanted to write this thing, you would have done it by now when he doesn't do anything to help her. But at the other, on the other hand, her conscience is saying, you know, there's a truth in what he's saying. If you did want this, you'd have done it by now. No excuses. Yeah. And I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, so it was really now. I, I deeply enjoyed the, the when she was going over, if what I if I would have gone on and been with my first love, yeah, uh, and what would my life have been like, uh, in, in in that scenario, uh, and but then she kept going back to why she originally fell in love with this man, um, yeah, which I think is beautiful. There's an aspect of this I'm trying to verbalize without spoiling anything. Um, I, I'll, I'll just say a tiny, it would be like taking a very teeny, just like tip of the spoon taste and going, mm, of some of the better parts of what makes everything everywhere all at once such a profound in terms of there's the hilarity but then there's also the deep, deep life lessons that you learn from this film. And that's, that's, I'm saying that without spoiling anything, but that's one of the things that I like. Is that the life lesson that you can take away from some things and be able to look back on certain parts of your life and recognize I'm probably in the best situation that I would have been in and that hindsight isn't always 2020 and you might not want to fix things. You might have wanted to do them differently, but when you look at the way things are now, you are accepting the fact that, well, maybe they needed to happen that way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah overall was my, th- my third favorite overall. Like I said, I think it was a good, re- it was a good series. Uh, if you can call it a series, right. Um, with, I think, two great episodes and this one i think being one of the close to great episodes um yeah my yeah. i put them in the order of my, from my like my favorites it's from top to bottom one mm-hmm. three six four five two okay uh yeah mine would you're probably, gonna be you're gonna be a little different yeah mine's gonna be a little different it's gonna be three one six uh three one six um five you put five ahead of four i enjoyed the story of two okay um even more than five and four yeah so i'm gonna put i think okay six two five and then four will be last for me uh that's the one that i i i I connected with the least in this in this yeah. series but i think they were all good uh and luckily mm-hmm. there was I, yeah, don't there's not any, a... I don't think there's a glaringly bad one there's just th- there's some that are sandwiched mm-hmm. in between two really great ones and those so that highlights if yours is not as great and so that's unfortunate for exactly. some episodes but it is what it is yeah uh but yeah. yeah let us know what you thought about this series and what should be the next series we should watch let us know your ranking of each episodes uh and what ranking you put them in down in the comments below and on to the next series. Yeah.